Hey everybody, Hyler Tamberly with another Obscurities in Miniature. Today we've got the Doom Seekers from Weird Miniatures, the other side big combat game from the creators of Malifaux. Anyway, these guys are part of the Cult of the Burning Man Allegiance. And if you are in need of, I guess, figures for the other side, or if you are looking to expand your Chaos Cultists or just have some generally funky, weird, magic-y types, this is... A great looking box for you. Let's pop it open and see what's inside. Obviously, that guy. Whether or not the detail will be there is another story, isn't it? Okay, what do we got? Card, which would make sense because you kind of need it. Breachling tokens. I'm assuming they summon Breachlings. Oh, I guess so. Summon a Breachling. Okay. But Breachlings have stats. I don't see any stats. Okay, I'll let... I actually did get a hold of one of the rule books. It's on its way to me, so hopefully we'll get to try that out. Bases, in case you aren't familiar with the other side, it's actually a mass combat game from the makers of Malifaux. And what you do is you get these fire team bases, different factions and different units have different size bases. So since these are human size, they have these 30 millimeter the other side bases, and then they just pop them on in there which is kind of handy if you're into the mass combat stuff or movement trays in general and i gotta say these are pretty cool looking now don't get too dismayed by all of the shiny plasticiness of it despite that these do paint up quite well and there's an awful lot of character going on with these sculpts this guy especially i believe this is the dude who's one of the guys on the cover of the box so we have old man we have it's kind of neat I guess that is one advantage of the bendiness of this material is I don't need to worry too much about it breaking. It's got some flex to it. And like I said, I painted a few figures at this point and after they've been sealed, I really haven't had much of an issue with the paint chipping or, you know, loss of balance or shape. They, they tend to stay the way they're supposed to. No bendiness. I like this guy. I mean, seriously, if you want some Chaos Cultists for 40k, or basically any kind of tabletop game at all, this is a great looking set. And one of the nice things is, I think I mentioned it, but it bears repeating, is that every one of these is a unique sculpt, whereas a lot of the other factions, I mean, check that out, you can see your face even, wow, facial details. Um, other factions, actually, they go the privateer war machine route of where you have three or four sculpts that then get repeated throughout the box. So this is a nice plus that we have. Everybody is their own unique sculpt. And that's something I've noticed with the Cult of the Burning Man, uh, more so than almost every other faction. You know, as we were talking, you know, there are these bendy bits. And you can see a little bit of flasher that's going to need some cleaning, if that's a worry or a concern of yours. So again, very characterful sculpts would be great in just about any tabletop game. This is the guy on the box cover. You don't think that's supposed to bend that far back. More like that. Is it worth trying to fix it? I don't know. I'm also curious what color flames I'm going to try painting these. The box art has them a very purplish white hue, but I don't know. Might give it a try blindfolded. Interesting. I'm not sure what's going on with this whole thing. I don't know why. It reminds me of a banana or a pea. Pea pod? I don't know. Again, lots of detail there. And again, one of the other disadvantages besides the bendiness is you tend to have these huge gaps because all the figures do come pre-assembled. For some of us, that might be an issue, especially if you're big on the painting side of the hobby. But if you just want to get plain, well... You know, literally all you need is some glue to stick them on their bases, and they are good to go. Okay, and then we have one last sculpt. And she's got energy tendrils swirling around her, so. Let's see how they compare to some of the other figures I have laying around. Well, not really laying around, but you know. You don't want to stand, do you, lady? Or you. <laughs> this might be more of a challenge than I had hoped for. All right, well, at least our leader dude, he's willing to cooperate. Anybody else? Here. All right. 
Well, at least we got a couple of them. That's going to be an issue. You can see the flames are actually kind of going over the edge of the base there. So, my first thought, 40K Chaos Cultists. That's obviously besides using them in the other side, but the size is perfect. I mean, they, they look like they'd fit right in. Sadly, I don't have any Chaos stuff handy other than these... Dark Oath Barbarians from Shadespire, but it does at least give you a better sense of how they would fit in. They're not drastically large or anything. I mean, the Dark Oath are, but these guys look like they'd fit in pretty good. I mean, you could probably use them in stuff like uh, Through the Breach, if Through the Breach does skirmish combat. Here's a Malifaux figure, just for reference. Grab another Malifaux figure. So you can see they fit pretty well in, and I do have a figure from the other side, my South Wales Borderer, one of their rivals, and you can see they fit in pretty well. So good sense of scale, and even between all the guys in the box here, the Doom Seekers themselves, it looks like we're going to have a bit of flex in terms of who's going to be taller than the others. So I'm really happy with it. I think I got it for about 30 bucks. Uh, I could be wrong, but it seems to be about close to what it should be worth for nine individual figures. Not too bad. I mean, again, no worse than some of the other stuff out there. And as you can see, you do get a lot of very characterful sculpts. So, take that for what you will. If that's something that you're in the mood for or you're in dire need of for whatever the game you may be playing, this might be a set worth checking out. I know that's exactly what I got it for. So, I'm going to wrap things up. Thanks for watching. This is High Lord Tamberly with Obscurities and Miniatures saying see you later. Bye bye.